All right, so we, we got some things we need to build. So right now we do have this whole, whole what, what do I got here? So we have these unused local keys. We have uh, mode, oopsies. We have mode changed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got everything we need. So what we built last time, just to kind of get started on all of this, is pretty straightforward. So, yeah, we have our state. We definitely have our state. We have our utils. We have our UI. We even have a float spec right here. Let's just go like this. NVM. Uh, there we go. Let's. What is this? Vim API. Oh, wait. Why do I keep calling it Vim API? Cdo uh, s Vim API to Vim APM. G. There we go. I'm a genius. I've always been a genius. You know, I, I'd be pretty jealous if I were you and, and you were me. You know what I mean? Wait. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Nailed it. First try. Thank you, Death Guru. I appreciate that. I like your uh, videos. Uh, even though I have absolutely no idea what web development or, uh, or server stuff, I am more of a robotic person. Oh, nice. Nice. You are making a keylogger. I am making a keylogger. Yeah, of course. We're making a keylogger. The turd. Hey, turd. We're making a keylogger. Anyone for coffee? Uh, uh, I actually wish I had some coffee right now. Um, guys, question for you. Why do we learn programming and building stuff when there are already solutions out there? Why not? Not everything has a solution, dog. So we're going to build a keylogger. So yesterday we did this. Or last time I did this, I did this thing right here. Oh, my goodness. Why are you being so annoying? Why are you being so annoying? What do you mean there is? Like, I don't understand why this thing is being so, so dang annoying. It's right there. Do I not have? Do I not just have it? I mean, I might not just have it in here all... Oh, I have it as Vim API. Should be Vim APM. Dude, dude, I got to quit. How have I messed that up so thoroughly? I kept calling it Vim API. Can you believe that I did that over and over again? I mean, how am I that stupid? How am I that stupid? There we go. So now I can go like this. So what we have here is that I'm able to create a floating window that it's going to be pasted right up here. And this is important, okay? This is important. We may have to make some changes. I actually wanted to try it like this. I wanted to actually go like this and call toggle on float. Uh, float. I wanted to see this. Okay, look. It's still there. You can see it. Do you see that right, right up there? Nice. Still there. Nice. Nice. Uh-oh. Do you see where it went? It went right here. That's not nice. We don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Which means that I need to attach a listener to this thing. I need to attach a listener that knows how to move itself around. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I have a little on, I have a little on close. Do we want to do a resize? Do I want to do this? I just don't want to have to have all this code in, in another place. I kind of want to be able to just have something that's a little bit nicer, right? Uh, isn't there like a win idea? Isn't there a, uh... so when we move that thing around, I need it to attach and stay attached right here. If I can just keep it attached right there, we're good to go. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense, right? I think that just makes sense. Yeah? Yeah? Relative positioning? I don't know. Is relative, is relative positioning even a thing? Relative window. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm attached to my window. I guess what I could do is... Uh, here, let's go like this. Let's let's open this thing up and let's see what we got here for, for 
for relative. We can do, uh, let's see, sets the window layout to floating and placed at row column. Editor, the global editor grid. All right, so we want to do editor, don't we? I wonder where that goes, though. Where does that even go? Anchor, Anchor just doesn't even work, I don't think. Ooh, actually, Anchor might work now. Hold on, I wonder if Anchor works now. I wonder if Anchor works now. You know what I mean? I hate it. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Fail. So I don't know if I should do this right here, right? I don't know if I should do this whole on close business versus just doing it myself. I mean, I got this nice little return. So we have a win resize. So win resize will be hit every single time something changes which should make it pretty easy, right? There we go. And now that we got that, we should be able to go through here and is it I wonder what it is it win ID? I wonder what I wonder what the I I wonder what it is. Is it win ID? I don't even know. Where do you get all the uh, banger songs from? I don't know. This one's just randomly being played. I don't know if I like this idea of, of wrapping things. Invalid key win ID. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm not even sure. I honestly, I don't even know. Do we even need to resize? Do we even need that? On win resize? I wonder what the options are. I don't even know how to, how, how do you even find the options for this thing? ID, the auto command ID, the triggering event, the buff, the file, the data. Yeah, see, I don't even see the number, uh, let's see. Uh, they don't even have a file name. Yeah, so I'm curious. You can't really attach it to a window. Okay, that's fine. We probably don't need to attach it to a window. Does that make sense? No type checking? We have some type checking. Yeah, we have some type checking, dog. All right, so I see what's happening here. We need to attach a weird mouse. I'm not even sure what you mean by weird mouse. What are you talking about? I think that would probably be more like it. I'm curious if this will just keep on creating listeners. You know what I mean? What is it? Unexpected event? All right. What, what is it? What, what is this? Hold on. When resized. It's 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 resized. I gotta I gotta come up with a better way. I gotta. All right. There we go. We're getting the win resize. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reshout this out. Now I'm curious. Does it keep on doing it? I wonder. See, the thing is, I wonder what happens here. Let's go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Local count equals zero. Uh, I'm going to go count. The reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to find out how many times this thing's being executed. Because if this thing's going to get executed a whole bunch of times, then we got to figure out a different way to do this. See. Does that make sense? Man, I got to get... I, I Let's see. There you go. Resize one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Pretty simple, right? Yep, look at that.
I don't like it. I don't like it. Lua's kind of cool. Well, it makes sense. We don't ever unlisten to it, right? We don't ever unlisten to it, which obviously is going to cause all sorts of problems, right? All right, so how do we want to solve this one? Now, this one is going to be a little bit trickier. Uh, let's just get rid of this. Let's get rid of this whole thing. And let's go here. And I'm going to create this actually as a top-level event. Does that make sense? So by doing it this way, I can control how many of them there are created. We only have the one right here. I don't see artistic nudity on your tags. I'm so disappointed. Well, you, okay, not all of us can be artistically nude. So now we're going to take this beautiful piece of code, and I'll be able to take this and flood in events into the floats. Right? Right now, I don't have any floats, but we can get floats, right? So I can have a uh, field. Um, uh, let's see APM uh, monitor is going to be a, a APM APM float, I think is what we call it. APM float, nice. Got it. First try. I'm such a genius. Uh, AP, let's see. Hold on. APM monitor equals. Uh, I think I should. I I don't think I should create a new one and send this thing out. I think I should. I think I should just return uh, APM float. Right. Yeah. Because I'm going to want to create one for each one of these. I'm going to need to come up with a way to kind of optionize this. Because we're going to want a float in the center that moves around nicely. And we're going to want to float on the other side. Does that make sense? Uh, don't you thank you for the brand new tier one. Does that make sense? Right now, we only need just this one float that's floating right here. It sucks. I, I don't want it to just float right there, okay? Get out of here. I just closed it. Get him the hell out of there. Okay? Get him the hell out of there. It's very frustrating. And so I'm going to go like this. Float. Do we even have an APM state? What is APM state? We do want an APM state. We don't even have state made yet. We don't even have state made. There we go. I like that way better. Uh, 15 down. Perfect. Does that make sense? There we go. So now we have these two things. And so I'm going to let people know when things have changed. So when this happens, I'm going to go like this, self.monitor.resize. And I'm going to let them know that you've been resized. And so now it's up to me to come in here and go function APM float resize. Why APM plugin even need a float window? Because you're going to want to watch your, you're going to want to watch your APM in real time floating up in the corner. Yeah, on shit happened, resize. Exactly. You get the idea. You get the idea. Come on. You get the idea. Yep, there we go. There we go. So we have this nice little Windows config. We're going to want, you're going to want all those things. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. That looks good, right? That looks good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because now when we go to resize, we can go like this config, local config equals uh, create window config. And then we can go, um, yeah, there you go. That's the exact one. I did it. I did that first try, people. I did that first try. Are you ready? Shout it out. Oh, wait. I no longer do that, do I? 
we no longer do that. Crap. Um, go like this. Okay, okay, go like this. Go, go, Lua, require, oh my goodness, uh, can you believe what kind of banger song we have in the background? I don't even mean for this thing to come on. Typo? There ain't no typos. Even if there is a typo, it's going to work. Okay, did I do conf... Let's go like that, and let's go like this. Monitor, toggle. First try, people. It's right there. First try. Look at it. Look at it. What the hell is going on here? You're s What the hell is going on here? Am I not calling resize? Oh my goodness, I'm not. You know why? You know what I didn't do? I forgot to go like this. Setup. You got to call setup, people. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. First try. Now all we have to do is just take this. Uh, All right, people, now we get to do the fun part. Now we get to do the fun part. Are you ready for the fun part? Are you ready for the fun part? Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. We're going to make the key logger. You guys ready to make a key logger? You guys ready to make a key logger? Let's make a key logger. I'm ready to make a key logger. I am so ready to make a key logger. All right, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to we're going to log so many keys. We're going to log so many keys. Are you ready for this? Cuz look at this. We got this thing. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? You see that? Do you see what it's doing there? Those are all the letters I was typing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So that means I can go self state on key. Oh, I like handle key. Handle key, key. And I can take that and I can also go like right here. Watch this. Uh, handle uh, mode changed. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go print uh, mode changed vim inspect i'm pretty sure i just have to look at this once let's go like that let's bring this thing back up let's go in here uh let's go here and go lua right here now watch this okay on key yeah i hear you all right so we got this we got buff event match normal to insert okay
Oh my goodness. Oh my go oh my goodness, I can't quit. I can't quit. I can't quit. I programmed it too good. Here, let's add these let's add these functions. Let's add these functions. Why don't you just get another keyboard and do the same thing uh, to each? Then you have uh, sp someone to spam the space button. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I made a, I programmed it too good. I programmed it too good. Just too good. Too good. Uh, function APM state dot handle uh, key key and uh, handle uh, handle. There we go. You like where I'm going with this? Yeah, yeah, look at that. It's right there. What do you mean? It's right here. Are you saying that that doesn't work? Oh, I, I, am I not printing it out? No, I am. Messages? Command to normal. Normal to command. Command to normal. Normal to command. Look at that. It says right there, insert to normal, normal to insert. Boom. We got it. 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 We're going to get this so good. What is it called? It's called match. Okay. So I'm going to go like this. Uh, local mode equals uh, event.match split string Lua. I always forget how to do this. You just go here and you copy this one thing right here. There we go. We're going to go here and we're going to Dude, what is going on with this? Ah. Oh my goodness, I can't highlight because it's the printing the printing is too annoying. All right, here we go. The separator is this. There we go. So we're going to go like this. Uh, utils dot split that thing with colon. There we go. To, from, let's go. Oh, yeah. We've done this. We're, we're so in. We are so in, people. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Watch this. Uh, print state changed. Uh, from two. All right, there we go. Lua, there's my toggle. Nice. I can still toggle. Uh, Lua setup. There we go. And let's go like this. Look at that. State change from command to normal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh yes. We're so logging. He's hooked. All right, so now we are there. All right, so I'm a little bit confused as to why this. Oh, APM, APM state. That's what was happening. There we go. Uh, all right, so there we go. So now we have this. So this is really important because we need to know how to take this and we need to be able to keep track of how everything's happening so we know what kind of events to emit, right? Uh, APM state dot, uh, we're going to have a listener function that's going to take in a listener and we're going to have to have some sort of listeners, right? We're going to have a class APM state listener. Yes. And you should have a field that's going to be, uh, on motion and it's going to be a function with motion with, with a string. And you're going to return a nil. Yeah? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have a field on here called listeners. An array. Yes, yes. Let's go. Oh, we're looking so good. Self.listeners. Table, insert, self.listener, listener. There we go. If we're looking good, yeah. So now we just got to listen. 
We just got to listen now. Or should I have this? Should I have on motion or should I have on stat? Let's let's go with on stat. Cuz a stat, now we need a stat. We need a class uh, APM stat. Do you know, okay, check this out. A stat should have a field type, which is a string, which right now let's call this thing a motion or a uh, time to insert. We're going to have those two right now. You're doing telemetry like go like wanted something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I like where this is going. This is looking really good. Netflix by uh by the way, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh spoiling rats, I know. I already know what's happening. You guys shouldn't spoil. Okay, because, you know, I already know what's happening. Now, guys, don't be spoiling it. Thank you very much. I'll wait for, I'll wait for the alert. I need to learn Lua. Lua is extremely simpler. Lua is extremely simple. I don't even know where where's the alert? Is the alert broken? Did you guys break my alerts? There we are. Thank you, Pirate Software, for the 8,314 viewers. That is an incredible amount of people. I was just about to go do some nice ASCII art for you. Uh nothing like a good old fashioned ASCII art, right? So let me tell you a little something about what we're about to do here. So you, if you guys are new, I, you know, I understand that this may, this may be a slightly different stream than what you're used to. Netflix, by the way, if you're wondering, we are going to be programming to a Vim you. plugin to see how fast you are at executing Vim commands. Yes, we are creating StarCraft APM, StarCraft Blizzard, by the way, pirate software, by the way. Okay, we're going to create a StarCraft-like APM monitor so that you can see how fast you are at using Vim. And then eventually we're gonna take that and we're gonna move it onto the internets in which you'll be able to have a global leaderboard if you wish to participate or you can remain local. Okay, yes, I used to be, I used to be somewhat of a StarCraft player myself. I used to be, I used to be somewhat of a, of a StarCraft player myself. Um, hey, thank you everybody for this. Appreciate that. So for those that don't know what Vim is, Vim is the most complicated arcane text editor of all time for coding. And it is used by only the coolest people out there. Okay. Okay. Just so you know what's happening around here. If you don't know what Vim is, I'm just going to say that maybe you need to hit the gym for a little bit. Okay. Just throwing that out there. Have you tried Ed? Ed is slightly more complicated. Fair. Uh, Pirate Software, I'm unfortunately unable to see anything you're saying, but I would like to say that I appreciate. Thank you so much for this. You've actually broken my the chat. Uh, many appreciations. Vimpog, Vimpog. Uh, appreciate all the follows, all the people here. So that's what we're doing. And so luckily you guys came in at just the right time. So where we got to if you do not know, is we're right here. Welcome to I have Costco. the ability to know. I love oh, you. thank you. Uh, thank you for, uh, I, oh gosh, I actually have to take off the follows. I can't even, I can't even read with how many follows are happening. What the hell am I supposed to do? You've broken it. Thanks. I got a new stream layout. That's cool. That's, you know what, you know what I've always wanted? I wanted to be able to edit soft. I wanted to be able to edit my stream information. That's what I've always wanted. Cool. Thanks for, hey, thanks for all the follows, jerks. Okay. Wow. Cool. Thanks for the follows. Um, dude, how the hell do I fill? Isn't there like a filter in this bad boy? Isn't there like a filter? Dude, sh stop following me. I can't even click the filter. All right, hold on, hold on. Where, where's the followers? Get the hell out of here for a second. Hey, Steve, thank you very much. I this is for, I wanted to say thanks for all the content. Hey, no problem. Uh, appreciate that. Netflix, by the way, appreciate all the Netflix, by the way. Uh, it looks like ETM to you. Oh, thank you. Got him, dude, you got me. You got me so good. You got me so good. Appreciate, appreciate that. Oh, gosh. Oh, my, this is actually like, 
bogging down my computer. All right, here, we'll, we'll put the follows back on. Just because I appreciate that, okay? Pre uh, you know what? Hey, I appreciate that. For those that don't know Pirate Software, you're an ignorant slut. But for those that do, welcome to a stream that's a little unusual. So typically what we do on any stream... Hey, I saw him! Oh, I saw him! I saw him. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Those eyes saw him. Um, all right. So for those that don't know, typically my stream involves one of two things. One, which is the primary one, we watch YouTube videos or read technical articles and talk about the technologies usually related to web development. And number two, I write exotic Vim plugins. My favorite Vim plugin that I've written to date is called Harpoon. Harpoon allows you to have a list of files that you frequent. You put it there on a list, and then you can swap between them as fast as you would Welcome like. Because code. you know what? I hate I using you. a fuzzy finder. You know what I mean? Like when you already know where you want to be, you only want to be able to press one button to get there, right? I hate that idea. So when I come into a project, look at where I'm at. Okay, do you see where I'm at? I'm right here on state mode changed. When I come into a project, I just want to be able to go right back to where I was. Okay, good. I want to be able to go right back to where I was. I just want, I just want to be in the effing project. I don't want to have to think about things. I don't want to have to like Welcome remember. To I don't want to have to go search I up the you. files. I don't want to, have to enter that. I just want to go in there. Prime misses tabs. I hate tabs. I, I I use a singular monitor. I don't know if you know this. I'm a monogamous monitor individual. Okay, I believe in the lifestyle of being able to swap back and forth as fast as possible. Okay, StarCraft. Remember how I said StarCraft? I wasn't kidding, okay? It's just ingrained in my head. So you're old? No, it's, it's actually the opposite. I'm not lazy and pathetic and flappy-gummed like you are, okay? I decided to actually change myself and become amazing. Okay? <laughs> Netflix, by the way. Anyways, uh, anyways, all right, so this is a lot of fun. So here we go. So right now, we have two events that are coming in, okay? So do you see this right here? When I go into insert mode, do you see how it says insert mode? If you're not familiar with that, in okay, so for those that aren't familiar with Vim, if you are typing, like right now, if I type J, it actually scrolls my character down. If I type K, it scrolls my character up. If I DD, it deletes a line. If I DAP, dap on the haters, it deletes a function. Dap, 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 right? Or DAP's technically contiguous code. So if you get really fast at this, you can Do move you really, really fast. We can send monitors to. Do you have a PO box we can send you monitors to? Um, the the problem isn't. I have. Oh my goodness, I forgot, focus is fixed. I have four monitors, they're just each to one computer. Okay, four monitors, one computer. I don't know, I like one computer per monitor. You know what I mean? Boomer screenshot, I, do, I forgot I have autofocus. It only focuses right here. Four monitors, it's like two girls, one cup. It's like two girls, one cup, except for it's one cup per girl. And there's four girls. And they each eat their own cup. But they're still vomit. That's commonly referred to as Elden Ring, by the way. Thank you very much, Ryan Winchester. I have one monitor I have per one application. Monitor per application window. If I start using an application more, I buy a new monitor for it. Reasonable take. The old, the old one monitor per application approach. Also interesting. Um, interesting. Interesting things. All right. So let's go back here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually change our mode. So for those that don't know Vim, Vim is what is called a modal editor. So each mode has a different operation. We can be in insert mode. We can be in command mode or uh, normal mode. We can be in command mode where we're typing in commands down there. And then there's other modes like visual mode. Okay. So I need to know about all these. So if you look right here, you'll see that uh, this should be printing. Are you not? Are you not printing? Is it not printing? Did I already break this? Oh, I haven't set it up. That's why. So I'm going to go Lua, enter the command to set up. There we go. So now we're set up. By doing this, if I go like that, 
and hit here and I go messages, you'll see I went from normal to insert mode, insert to normal mode, normal to command mode, command mode to normal mode. Makes sense. Yeah. So with that, uh, do, do I use Linux? I use Linux, kids, which means that my audio breaks 13% of the time. Nobody knows why. Okay, so there we go. So now that we got that, now I'm a big fan of writing tests for when it comes to key to key loggers, okay? Because if you're gonna do a proper key logger, we're gonna want to go liar. Okay, it did break. It broke on stream today. I was in the middle of watching a pretty good video. It actually just broke in the middle of the video. Yeah, I was I was very upset about that. Yeah, let's let's. Oh my goodness, let's. All right, so there we go. So we're gonna bring we're gonna bring all this stuff here. We don't need any of that. Oh, it still says harpoon. Well, okay, that's my previous one. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually make a little test. Let's see if we can get this test showing that it works. Okay. So let's go like this. Uh, we're gonna call this thing the state test. And before each, I do have a clear memory that I need. Uh, local util uh, utils equals require uh, vim apm that. There we go. Perfect. Wait. Clear memory. Welcome to Costco. Hey, thank you. We I also need you. something that every single time I do this, I also need to resource all my files. So I have to clear my memory and I have to clear out all previous cache. Because remember, Lua is a dynamic language, which means all state will be kept before each individual. And play an ad. I don't want to play an ad. Ads naturally play. Oh, should I play an ad and then I'll explain things? Yeah, we'll play an ad. We'll wait a minute. There we go. Is that Copilot? Yeah, yeah. Copilot, yeah. What's the plugin uh, that shows the W and I in normal mode? Wait, we're getting so we're getting so many ads. Watch this number, people. Because I'm playing an ad, this number is going to go up way high. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Watch, watch this. Hey, Victor, thank you very much. Five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. Oh, look at my numbers going up, people. I got so many numbers. Come on, keep going up. Uh. You see that how it hopped up Welcome there for a Costco. second? I yeah, you. we're gonna keep on going up and up and up and up and up and up. Hey, Noxock, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. How many more viewers during ad breaks? Your ad breaks go up. A Snapdragon ad dub. Let's go. Come to Rio de Janeiro. Five thousand and yeah. There are implications to this. I know. Welcome to Costco. Oh wow! I just I happened to go up three hundred viewers. Crazy how that worked out, Daron. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. All right. No ad time? Nice. All right, we're almost done. Welcome to Costco. Just I Barnt. Appreciate that, Just Barnt. Prime Con Rio 2024. I will be in Brazil. By the way, I'm going to be in Brazil. Very, very excited for it. Okay, are you ready? Where's my ad? I feel scammed. I'm sorry, lethal entropy. Look at that. Now we've lost a whole bunch. All right. We're going back. Okay. So for us to be able to do this test correctly... For us to be able to come in here and test that we're going in between these states properly, what I need to do is a couple things. First thing, we're going to go up here, and we're going to actually add a field onto this thing that says uh, uh, mode. And this is just going to be a string. And I'm going to have this as uh, normal, insert, uh, command, uh, or V. I'm sure there's other ones that I need to actually do. Um, I'm just going to start off with mode as normal. And whenever Welcome we have mode change, I'm going to go like I this. Uh, we'll also have, uh, should we have anything other than that? I don't think we should have anything other than that. We're going to go like this. Uh, self dot, uh, mode equals two. There we go. We're looking good. So I should be able to just test this thing pretty easily. You know what I mean? Welcome to Costco. I love all you. right. So let's just delete all of this because honestly, we don't, we don't need all of this. And we're going to need one more thing to clear out. Oh, do I not have clear memory? Oh, no wonder that thing's acting all funny. It's test utils that has clear memory, which also means I should have function. Oh, nice. Look, it already reloads it for us. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. It is already reloading it for us. This one I'm going to have to rethink of. I'm going to have to change this. This needs to be changed. Uh, we'll go like this. 
to do. Uh, clear floats through APM uh, main interface. There we go. Oops. Uh. All right, there we go. Looks good. We're looking good, huh? All right, so we're gonna clear out the memory. Now we're ready. Now we're gonna go in here and we're let's go like this. Oh man, I got oh, hold on. I gotta take off something. It's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. Okay, good. Okay, so I already took this out. So now I go Lua. We don't even need to do this. So now I should be able to come down here and we can set up APM, local APM equals require Vim APM, right? And so now I should be able to go APM setup. Now this will attach all the listeners. Everything will look good. Happy about it. I should, I bet you, I, I think I probably also have to come in here and go, to do set up a way to clear listeners based on uh, ID, right? I can do that because we have a, like a little listener item. There we go. So I got to do a couple things. What the hell is your words per minute? All of them. I type at at the at all of the speed. All right. So we have our APM. We do. We call our setup. So now it's listening, which means I should be able to uh, send over keys in Harpoon, if I'm not mistaken, in UI spec i had this right here let's go let's go this is another project this is the harpoon project that we talked about okay we'll jump back to this project there we go for those that don't know a really cool script i made a while back was called uh was called uh tmux sessionizer so when i go like that i can go to any of my directory so if i want to go to my work directory paladin yeah i named one called paladin it's a rust project by the way it's called the rust project by the way how great is that rust by the way <laughs> um, anyways uh it, i can go back and forth between them really fast uh it's a great little script it's in my dot files sick project name you like it you know why i called it paladin we 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 have one nine of reliability right now in a certain internal service at netflix one nine one we are failing over one percent of the time So what did I do? Well, the first thing is to bring order to the chaos. So I brought a paladin out. Okay, that's the own. That's the job. Okay. I, I'm 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 writing a, a log, uh, a log and uh, a log inspector, uh, to check out to check out what the hell is happening. So it's failing 90, 91% percent of the time. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's like 90. I think it's like, it's at like 90. It's at 85 to 92% of the time it works. So that's it, it effectively like one nine. It might even be zero nines. We might, we actually, we even have like a zero nine. 85% of the time, it works every time. And here's the best part is it runs a bunch of tests. It runs like 2,000 tests. So when it when it happens to fail at its worst worst point, 85%, I have, there's, there's 300 broken tests if we run 2,000 of them. And they're not even broken. They're just, they're, they're fake broken. They're f fake. I've been faked. That's a zero niner. I know. It's very, it's very emotionally draining. And so we want to fix it. If I had zero nines, I'd just say it works 100% of the time. It sounds like a skill issue. It's genuinely a skill issue. And we're going to fix it. It's a fun problem. I like really fun problems like this because it's like it's super hard to get right. There's a lot of moving pieces why it's so hard. And there's no one single point of failure, right? It's not because like something is wrong. Everything that it uses is, it has a lot of services. They all have ni several nines of reliability, it's just when you use that many services all combined together, plus a bunch of other stuff, it just like, the reliability just goes straight down. It's very, very fun. It's like super fun problem. So we're going to make it awesome. Anyways, so let's go like this. Let's go like this. Uh, verify that mode changes uh, happen. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go like this. We're going to take out this. So this right here is going to feed some keys. So I'm going to go like this, uh, equal state mode, normal, and go here. I forgot this one doesn't like that. We're going to go here, F that, yeah, there we go. Then we're going to go like this, key, I, all right, so if I've done this correctly, 
if I've done this correctly. Uh, let's uh, let's dap this and let's go to the utils. Let's let's agree that this is probably a utils. There we go. That, it, that it, that's a utils. Can we agree? That's a utils. All right, so let's see if this works. Let's see if this thing works. Let's see if this thing works. Uh, let's go Vim APM uh, slash tests. Current objective, current objective is to do uh, modes. What the hell just happened? I sent in an I. I sent in an I. I wonder if there's like a wait, right? I, I pressed key I, right? Look at the key. Look at the key. All right, let's actually try something. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna jump over here and I'm gonna go like this. Uh, uh, print uh, mode changed. There we go. Let's just do that. Let's, does it does it say that at all? So it doesn't say it at all, which I'm curious. I'm curious about this. Let's try this. I'm going to just try something completely different because maybe we are actually having problems here. We might just be having problems here. Okay. Let's go like this. Let's go Vim. Let's just stop right here. Why? Uh, Vim schedule function... Um, oh, interesting. I wonder if it, t I wonder, can I do this? Does that work? Can I do a done? Okay. So it does print out done. So I don't know what the problem is. Okay. So here's the problem is I'm pressing key. The key should be sent. This key should be sent right here. Why am I not feeding the keys correctly? I guess we need to figure out what's going wrong here. So how about we start with that? Let's figure out what's going wrong here before we go on, okay? So let's just go like this. I'm going to go, I'm going to paste this in. And if I've done this correctly, this should set me into insert mode. I'm in insert mode. Por que Maria? Okay, so we don't know why that that happened. Not happy about that. Okay. Sons of bitches. Okay. I Welcome feel like I'm being cheated. I just I want you to you. know right now, I'm being cheated. I feel like I've been cheated. I feel like I've been cheated here. Let's just make sure I'm getting there, right? There's the setup. There's the key. Okay, so why are you not calling into this? Por qué, Maria? How did the mode change? Am I not able to go into a mode? Am I not able to go into a mode? Can you not test a mode? It's weird why I watch your videos and I'm not even a dev. Well, you can become one if you want to. I'm not happy about this. I was really hoping it'd be this easy. I was genuinely hoping that it would just work. Don't you need to open a buffer list? You know, you might be correct. You know what? You might be correct. Uh, 
maybe maybe you're correct jackass okay maybe you are okay let's go like this uh Uh, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. I mean, that looks pretty good here. I, I you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go harpoon. Whoopsies. Let's go to harpoon because I had a nice way to open up some nice files in here. Look at this. I'll fill a list with three files. So how do we do this? How do we do this create file? We do... We set the current buffer. We set the text. We set the cursor. Okay, good. Okay, so this looks pretty good. This looks pretty nice. I'm gonna yank this entire thing. I'm gonna bring it back here, and we're gonna jump into here, and we're gonna we're gonna paste that in. Does that not sound good? That sounds good, doesn't it? And then when we clear, we're gonna definitely want to go like this for uh. Buff delete force. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted to see. And then we go like this. M dot created files equals that. There we go. All right. So we're going to create a file, set all the text position, add all this stuff in, change the cursor if we want to change, and then we're in position. So then let's do this thing now. Okay. That looks much better. Can we agree to that? That looks much better. Uh, let's go like this. Local buff uh, buffer equals uh, utils dot create files. Did I really call it files? Created files? I call it create file. Jerk. All right, create file. What does it take again? It takes in name, foo, contents, hello world. Yeah? That Does that look good? There we go. Okay, so we've created a file. We've set our buffer in our window. Now we're going to go in insert mode. I hate this. All right, hold on. Get the hell out of here for a second. All right, what have I done wrong here? Mode, what is mode? Mode, behavior flags, send feedback keys. Mode, mode, string characters include this, blah, 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 blah. Mode is a string which contains remap keys. This is default. If mode is absent, keys are remapped. Do not remap keys. Handle keys as if typed. Otherwise, they are handled as if coming from mappings. Oh, I want a T. I want to give it so many T's. T. We want to go so hard from the T's, don't we? You are equaling before you press the key. Yeah, that's fine. It's still passing. I'm just verifying that I'm starting off in normal mode. Well, of course it exists because I'd be getting a I'd be getting a a, a nil exception error, right? If you do nil foo, like it's gonna it's gonna be like you can't do that, right? You can't do that. You can't do that. All right. So Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's go back here. Uh, I in, let's see. Insert the let's see. In, insert the string instead of appending. Execute commands until ty uh, type ahead is empty. Okay. This feels correct. All right, hold on, hold on. One more check. What's the, what's the last one? Escape, escape keys. If true, escape K special bytes in keys. 
This should be used. Uh, this should be false if you already use explace term codes. Otherwise, okay. Okay. Okay, so I am using the correct thing. We're just being stopped. So either I can... We're going to try to go further. Hold on. So I'm in, I'm in insert mode. Can you can you send them as map too? Okay, so it's it's not hitting this thing right here. We see the setup, right? We see the setup. You can see the setup right here. So we know we got here. It just doesn't print this thing right here. Make sure there's no errors or anything being hidden. Yeah, there's no errors being hidden. So this thing is not running is what that's happening. That's how I... Mm. There's something about quotes. I, I don't ha I don't think I have a quotes issue going on right now. Status of Harpoon. I, I use Harpoon 2 on the daily. Okay, so it, I don't think it has anything to do with those either. Okay, yeah, so... These other modes, I don't even know what they are. Execute command until a type ahead is empty. This is similar to using bang normal. You can call feed key several times without X and then one time with X. I hate whatever this is. I hate whatever you are. Whatever you are, I... I, I... Note that if Vim ends in insert mode, it will behave as if escaped is typed. To avoid getting stuck... Waiting for a character to be typed before the script continues. Note that if you manage to call feed keys while executing commands. All right, so can we not? Are you telling me? Okay, well, it does change mode. It did, I mean, it did change mode. A uh, classic execute until type head is empty flag. I know, dude. It's classic type head is empty flag. Okay, so I guess the question I have is why does this thing just work here? Like, I'm in insert mode. Yeah, it's right here. Normal to command, command to normal, normal to insert, insert to normal, normal to command. See, I did that twice. So you can see me passing through all this. So this all works. Why does it work in there, but not in this other thing? What is wrong? What is happening? Try X bang me, daddy. Yeah, we can do X bang me, daddy. Welcome to Costco. I love you. I know what happened. We hanging, boys. Okay. We're redesigning the program. We're redesigning the program to avoid this entire situation, okay? Okay. We're, re we're redesigning things. Okay. We're redesigning things because I, I, I ain't about this. I, I ain't about this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a function called on state change. Okay. On state change is going to emit out an APM state. Oh crap. What do we call this? APM state item? Ooh. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Uh, we're gonna have mode a string. We're gonna have a field, which is gonna be potentially the key that got pressed. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to emit out these states. And so we're going to actually on state change is going to do a APM state item. Okay. So it's going to emit this every single time. So this thing is just going to keep track of all this stuff, right? So I'm going to go like this. Uh, I'm going to go uh, self dot emit. Uh, yeah. Uh, function APM state uh, emit uh, underscore uh, do that and go key. And if let's see. Let's go for uh, listeners. Listeners, great job. On state change. Wait, yes. If there is a on state change, yep. And if there is a key, we'll do that. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Yes. 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 All right. There we go. Does this make sense? All right. So this looks good. So we're going to do this. And we're going to go like this, self dot emit. Uh, and we're going to go CA that and go nil. And then go parameter key can be a string or nil. There we go. Feels good. Feels good. And that means this one I can jump in here and I can actually key emit the state. So we just keep track of the, all this thing does is just like a small thing to keep track of mode states and set out listeners. And like that's it. Hey, no problem, Grandpa. Uh, Grandpa can code. No problem. So do you see what we're doing here? We're just walking through the potential states, and we're just changing things slowly one at a time. Does that make sense? And so that means I should be able to listen to this as changes are being made, which also means we can do something pretty exciting. Are you ready for this? So I'm going to rename this thing. It shouldn't be called the state anymore. What is this thing called? It's kind of like it's, it's more of a state emitter. What do, what do we call this thing? Because we actually have APM state, which is a series of APM state emissions. Does that make sense? So this is how I'm looking at it. So this is how I was originally going to program it until I did this unit test and I hated my life and decided that I, I don't want to ever do that anymore. We are going to have the state object, right? And the state object was going to have the mode that it was in, and then it was going to listen to a series of key presses. And it was going to be able to take all this information and deduce out to you what state you've just got done doing. So if you do D for D, it's going to know that you have deleted and you're in normal mode. It's going to know that you have deleted four lines, right? Easy, but now we're gonna change it. Instead, your state is gonna take your mode and your key and emit out the mode and if there is a key pressed as well. So now we have the effectively the state accumulator, the state orchestrator. This is the state emitter is all this thing does. It just emits states as they change. State buffer? State mastermind? How about we come up with a fun name? What's a good fun name? This thing's a state producer. Church and state. <laughs> Shut up! Uh, let's see. State ejaculator. I mean, that is technically very close to what it is. I mean that. I mean, you are all. You've almost actually made it. You've. I mean that. That might be the closest version of it. State sniffer. So it's the John. Steroid governor. Governor. State of the Union. State birth canal. I don't even know what to do with that last one. Emitter. I hardly know her. Super califragilistic abstract factory emitter handler. Uh, for do docious. You guys are actually the worst at coming up with names. State factorial. I hate you guys. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? Forget you guys. You guys actually are the worst. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to re I'm gonna rename this thing. We're going to call this thing state emitter. I feel like state ejaculator was probably more correct, but we're going to go with emitter. Last thing I need is social justice coming upon me. Yeah. That's my impersonation, if you're wondering. Um, okay. State emitter. We're going to go through all these things. Uh, state your name for the court. I love you, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I hear a, did I hear a dongle joke? 
you telling me that there were two men together making a joke about dongles? We better alert the authorities. And that's why we have nothing fun anymore. All right, anyways. I just got uh, moved on to team matching stage for Netflix internship. Can her team pick me PLS? Wait, you think I'm like captain of all that is... I'm just captain of the states? What? Cap captain of interns at Netflix? I'm not captain of interns. They have asked if they could come on my program and, and, and do some stuff. St APM state emitter listener. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Do you even Java, bro? Yeah, I do. APM state emitter item. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. APM state consumer. Oh, should we do that? Now I'm going to create a nice state file. Okay, now we're going to create a nice state file. Okay, now that we have state emitter. And here, let's go up here. So we're going to have a state, and we're going to have a... Uh, we're going to have an emitter, and this will be the emitter. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll just keep it on here. Why not, right? Let's, let's definitely have that. Let's definitely have the emitter. Emitter, emitter, emitter. Uh oh, I just, I just, I officially just hit the satiation levels. Now I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Okay, so we're gonna have this, and we're gonna go like this: emitter uh, dot. Uh, listener equals state. I'm gonna pass in the state. Yeah, that looks good. Can we all agree to that? So long as I do this thing correct. Broke it up into two different things. I will tie the two states together and emit this. So now that we've done that, this actually should be pretty good. So then I'll go emitter. See, now the emitter does the work. Yes, yes, yes. Can we agree that this is good? Now we just got to create the state. There we go. And now we can test the state. State dispatcher. What do you think this is? Redux? Okay, we are... Tie two states together equals state of the union. I Welcome know. She bitter. I love you. For some odd reason, your hair looked quite green on YouTube. State machiner. I hardly know her. State stater. Dude, I know. Redux saga. I should just call this Redux saga. It's the only, it's the only reasonable thing at this point. What is this? Uh, this is a state emitter. All right, so that means I'm going to need to go like this. I need to go like this. A local... Uh, I, I don't even know what's going to be on there yet, okay? Local uh, APM state. APM state index, yes. APM state new, no. State, oh my gosh. F uh, uh, function. And then return APM state set meta table. Uh, mode equals this, yes, I like that. And then have here field. Uh, mode should be one of those. Yep, that seems about right. We don't have any keys. We're going to have to have more stuff, right? We're going to need this. So I'm going to definitely want function APM state. Uh, let's see. On state change. Do you see what we did there? You, so, you see what we did there? You see what we did there? You know you saw what we did there. There we go. We've tied them together. We've officially tied them together. Okay. We've tied it together. Look at that. Look at that. Beauty. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that. You even got little, you even got like uh, type hinting. Dude is still going. Yeah, we're still going. Okay, so we got the on state change. We do this and now. Uh, Welcome to Costco. I we need you. to do all the actual work here. <laughs> and I, I almost feel like this thing now needs to emit stuff itself. Damn it. Are we going to have listeners upon listeners? Oh man, I hate this kind of stuff. I, I'm, I'm not liking this at all. Okay, I'm not happy about this but we got to do it. I don't know. I don't like my, I do not like my design choices I've made already. We're going to have an APM state listener and this is going to simply have a field uh, on, on state change and it's going to have a, and it's going to have a field and we're going to have to have a type, which is going to be a motion or a time to insert and then we need some other stuff on here and then we're gonna have some context 
field. It, uh, Annie, I don't know what the that's going to be yet. There we go. Uh, that clean code, I'm trying not to make a clean code. I'm desperately trying not to make this into Java. But I have to set up... The problem is, is I don't want to create a generalized pattern to solve all this. But I want to create it generalized enough that I can run unit tests on it. Does that make sense? Because getting this problem correct first try is absolutely insane. Right? Just use a view model to handle state events from the UI. Duh. Duh, stupid duh, dumb man. Looks kinky to me. Looks... Looks... Looks what? What does LCMT mean? Looks clitoris to me. Damn. Looks clitoris to me? Damn. Looks clean to me. No, it does not look clean to you. I'm just trying to make it easier to test. Because I already know I'm going to be... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate my life in like 10 minutes when I get past this point. Okay, uh, app state item. There we go. What do you mean? You don't know where that is. Undefined alias? It's like right there. Do you not see that? All right, so this is very, very simple. So now all I have to do is I have to go function apm state dot uh, listen. Oh, I like. Let's go up here. Let's add a little extra here. Let's go like this. Let's go listeners. Yep, that thing. I think I got pretty close to listeners. Listeners. There we go. We're going to do one of those. And uh, table insert uh, self. Uh, listeners. Listener. There we go. What do you mean? Yeah, there's listeners. It's right here. Lis listen. Listen. List. Listen. Oh gosh, I have I have I, I have visual satiation happening. I have visual problems. I'm having satiation problems. I've seen the word listener too many times. I've, I, I'm satiated. I, I've 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 capped out. I've capped out. I've capped out. I can't do it. Yarn format lang. You can format these nuts. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. All right, so. I hate the fact that I've typed the same set of code twice just to avoid the fact that I don't know how to uh, to avoid the fact that I don't know how to test it. Huh? I really hate this. Got him. Got him so good. I really don't know what to do with this. All right. So let's try to figure this out. Listener is no longer a word. Listen, who spells listeners like this? Oh shoot! Why would you do that? Why are you Why are you doing that? I can't think now. I I'm struggling here. VS Code is easier to read. Read what? VS Code sucks. VS Code is like the retail wow of editors. I figured I, I, I figured I could just make somebody. Uh, it's a, it's a remarkable product. <laughs> Imagine returning an error from a back end. Imagine it's two hundreds all day long. All right, all right. So let's think about what we want to do here. So let's talk about what we're trying to do. Okay, so we have a state machine, right? In the state machine, what's going to come in is going to be key and mode, right? We're going to have key and mode. And this needs to produce out motions. You can't listen for a motion in Vim. Okay? So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to be able to do all of this. So if you think about it, when you type in D, there's like a bunch of stuff that can happen afterwards. Right? So how is... What are we going to do here? So also, you can start with a number. So for those that don't know the anatomy of a Vim command, you can do Welcome a lot. To Costco. Here. I love you. You can do a lot. D for D's nuts. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then I can also do I can also do a motion here. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, you are such a beautiful writer. Oh my goodness. You you are so good. Or or a number
and a D. Okay, that is what we have available. You can do a number D motion or number D. Okay, so check this out. Watch how weird this is. I'm like this. I can go 2, D, 2, D. It deleted four lines, right? It's like multiplicative. You, you execute twice your command. So my, my command was do, uh, D, 2, D, but I did it twice. Press CC. Yes, CC also works with this. Well done. Um, so that means we got to kind of think about how we do this in gen. Uh, is it additive? Is it additive? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, here we go. We're on line 24, and I'm going to go like this. 2D. Um, oh, hold on. Let's go like this. 3D. Uh, let's, let's make sure we have 15. Okay. Yeah, 3D, 5D. Isn't that, yeah, that was, it executed 15, right? Yeah, that was 15. So that was, that was, that was, that multiplied. Pfft. Additive, it wasn't eight, you goof. It was, it multiplied. You did three, you did three fives. I gotta go pee again. I need a finite state machine. Absolutely. All right. Does he sit on an exercise ball? Yeah, I do. All right, people. I feel like we need more energy in this music. This this music, it just feels kind of low energy right now. Okay? I don't want to be Jevin. We want something more. You know what I mean? I really like... I really like... This one song on this Miss Mo Monique track, which will start here. Then we'll figure out where, where to go. All right, we'll start from here. All right, people. All right, so let's build this state machine. But we kind of have to be clever because these... Right? Like, those are the set of commands. So let's start with the simplest stuff, Right? We're going to start there and we're going to move on. When I press X in normal mode, I guess that's technically a command, right? So let's... How are we going to do this? Whoa, where, where's my tilde? How have I forgot where my tilde is? There's also S and there's S, right? Those are like all my single key commands. Can we agree to that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So there we go. So let's start there. Let's go like this. Uh, if I kind of want to process the state with the key. We need to add state to the key. So I'm sure there's like an elegant way to solve this. I don't know how to solve it yet. Okay. Elegance. Out the window, okay, right now. All right, elegance out the window. I can, I almost want something that like I can add keys to, and it will create it. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I should almost have a vim motion thing. I should almost have like a vim, mo like a motion. Maybe this is the thing I wanted to create the whole time. Maybe this is the one that I wanted. Um, maybe this is the one I wanted. Uh, maybe this is the one I wanted because this is what we need to do. This is what's going to happen is you're going to have a key come in, right? 
You're gonna have a, you're gonna have to have a key come in. The key's gonna come in, and you're gonna have some sort of a, you're, you're gonna have to figure out kind of where you're at in this motion, and either you're gonna have to reset. Right, it's gonna have to be kind of like a reset. Yeah, this makes sense. You're gonna have to do like a reset, and then you're gonna have to return out nil, right? Or you're gonna successfully, you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna go fur uh, uh, further into your into your motion, right? Which will also be a nil. Or you're gonna return out the motion. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's kind of like the three different things we have to have. Like you had a bad sequence, you had a good sequence that re re made you go further, or you had a motion, right? So this is what I'm thinking. Now here's the problem. Are there any, there might be some overlapping motions. So this is what we're gonna start off with. When you reset, we're gonna have motions. Yes, I like this. Okay, okay, I feel like it's coming to me. Okay, I feel like it's coming to me. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to have our available motions. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, local available. Uh, uh, let's go like this. Uh, one, one key motions. Or how about we'll call this, we'll call this a fixed, fixed keys motion, right? Yes. And this is going to produce out a motion. And we want a, what does it look like? What does a fixed key motion look like? What does that look like? What does that look like? Let's just think of something. Um, let's think about this. Let's think about this for a second. Because we almost want these little, we, we kind of want these like little classes to kind of describe each one. Uh, we're going to call this thing a key motion, and this thing is going to have a, a function key motion. Oh, I like this. New, which is going to be the string that it needs to go through, and this thing is going to return a set table, this one, and it's also going to need an index equals one. This makes sense. And a key motion is going to have a uh, test, which is going to be a key. And this is kind of like a try state return, right? The try state return is going to be the following. It's either you add a key and it failed, you add a key but it's not done, or you add a key and it's done. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A motion result, let's call it a motion result. It should have a field. Um, it should have a, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, yes, I think that's about right. And this thing should return a motion result or a nil. Nil will be the third state that it failed. Does that make sense? Like it, it failed. We don't want any more of that song. We already went through the good song. Does that make sense? It's a three-state variable. It's a tri-state boolean. Exception for no uh, valid. Yeah, once you have no valid motions, then you're done searching the tree. Right? You're done searching the tree once you've hit no valid motions. Amazing typing accuracy, Prime. Thank you. And so we're just gonna keep on. We're gonna keep on bringing down that tree until there's nothing left. Either there's one result left, which means that we're done. And if it says it's done, we've officially created an emo we created a motion. So that means I should be able to do the following. I should be able to go like this. If um, if self substir stir equals key, then this equals this. Done. Uh, yes. 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 If uh, self.index equals... Um, Ooh, 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 oh my goodness. All right, 
Oh, we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. Oh, we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. If. Oh, wrong language. Wrong language. Yes. Why didn't it format for me? I want formats. We got to reset, people. Yes. There we go. Tested it. All right. Fixed key motions. I guess I don't need to do that. Uh, actually, I can just go like this. Uh, local key motions equals... That's what I wanted. Okay. Yes. I sorry. I I, sk I kill screen key sometimes. Okay. All right. Motions equals a list of key motions. I think this. I think this makes sense. I think this makes sense. It always starts off as this. Here we go, like this. Do we want to create it? No, we don't want to. We, we want to minimize work. We have to really minimize work because we don't want to do a lot of stuff on every single key press you press. So we have to really make this slick. We have to make this thing very, very slick. Right? But test should reset itself. Nice. Test always resets itself. Okay, so we're good. Test always resets itself. We are looking good. Oh my goodness. Ah! All right. Okay. Okay. So this does work. This will be nice and slick. Okay. Good. We don't have to do any extra work. Yellow, beautiful wife. All right. We're back. All right. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Beautiful wife. Beautiful wife. Yeah. Chat says hi. No, they do not. You guys suck. On state, what the hell did I? Should we call it feed key? I kind of want to call it feed key. All right, so we have a motion. We feed it a key. We kind of need, also we need this. Uh, function, uh, motion, reset. All right, we also need a reset, right? So we can reset this. Reset will do a vim, uh, we'll do a vim schedule, right? That way we, we're not we're not goofing up with any of this stuff because we last thing we need to do we we don't need to do all that that would just be awful we don't want to do that we don't want to do that because every time we feed a key we have to reduce our possibilities damn it it's become quite uh, it's become stupidly complicated how well how else would it become complicated I mean how else would you do a key logger that's not complicated when you're trying to understand motions. Motions are not a part of the API. Why? J and K are right here. This is really convenient. Down, up, down, up. That's really, that's these power fingers. H and L are almost in identical positions, right? They're right here, same same fingers. It's just no stretch, and this one goes up a row. It's like the same. You know, J and K are just I don't know H and L. It's like the same thing. Yeah, I still use that same layout. It's my power things. All right, so that means we need to go like this. Uh, we need to go like this. Uh, local out equals this. And go uh, motions if result test key if result does not equal yep if result done then we need to self emit 
We need to do something here. We, we need to do a, a, an, we're going to emit. I really don't, I, I wish there was a nicer way I could chain all these things together. And I'm sure I could come up with something that chains itself together nicely uh, to do emit. But we just don't have a nice way to emit these things. Actually, do I need the emit? I don't think I need to. I'm pretty sure we won't have, we will only have a single item left by the time we get to emit. I want to say we, we, we can just return key motion. I kind of feel like we need a, this thing is going to be result self stir. And this is going to be that. Yeah. We kind of need to know things about it. Oh, we should probably be smarter about this result. It should be a, a uh, we should have, a, we should do something. Uh, let's see. We should be smarter about this. Crap, I'm having bad name. I'm having a bad name. What do we call this thing? Because we need something with a type, right? We need something with like a type, which is going to be a something, right? And then it should be other things as well, right? And I don't know what those things are. I don't know what those things are yet. Right? Because this one should be able to have something that looks like, you know, type, uh, you know, just like, it's like a, it's like a fixed motion, right? You can't type it differently. And so therefore it's that. Whereas there's like a different one that's, you know, it's, I'm going to have to break it down. Like how many motions, how many different things kind of went into it. It's like a combo. It's like a combo. You're right. It's kind of like a combo. I don't know how to state that well yet. Oh, continue doesn't... Is that how you do that? I don't, you can't do continues. Not, not, not in Lua. Lua. Lua ain't gonna allow that. Oh, you do a continue down here. <laughs> Should we use a go-to? Hell yeah, we're going to use a go-to. Hell yeah, we're going to use a go-to. Hell yeah, I'm going to take your guns away. This is awesome. This is great. Hell yeah. Uh, and then let's do a motion result or nil. Do we need a motion result? We probably do need a motion result or nil. Then return uh, result dot. They really call it result. If uh, out equals zero, then self dot motions equals key motions. else equals out there we go does that make sense we keep feeding the keys and it's going to take these keys and it's going to produce stuff back out i think this i think this is it i think i done i think i done darn did it reset we still need to do uh error uh please implement me daddy there we go does that make sense Every opportunity for a go-to should be taken. Yeah, we did that. Vim extension, got it. Yeah, yeah, just walked in. What are we working on? Oh, we're working on we're working on the good stuff. I don't like this song. I don't like it. I don't like it. it makes me upset. I don't like that song either. Oh, I like this song. I like this upcoming song. All my buddies named all the C go-to labels here and there, so you could uh, say go to here or go to there. Nice, I like that. What IDE are you using? I don't use an IDE. I use Vim. NeoVim to be specific. Okay, so I think this is all we need to do. Motion spec. 
All right, let's try this bad boy out. Are you guys ready for this? Before each clear memory. Yeah, 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 yeah. We probably don't even need to do that. We don't even need to do that. We are so good here. A local... Uh... All right, let's return uh, motion. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion. So I should be able to go like this. I should be able to go like this. Motion equals motion new. There we go. We have, a, we have a new motion. And now we should be able to go like this. Motion feed key X. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. This thing goes away. Gosh! Get wrecked! Get... Big X, let's go, big X, let's go. Give me the S. Ooh, GG doesn't work, right? Oh yeah, that does work, huh? Hold on, does G9G 9 G work? Okay, good, yes, yes. But nine, nine, uh, 9G does work, so we can't have... It's not a fixed motion. It's not a fixed motion. Which means we should be able to do this even more, right? We should be able to go even further with this one. We should be able to do this, people. We should be able to do this. Are you ready? Yeah, GG is fixed, yeah? Uh, 9GG, it... It's not. Okay, we're just going to keep it there. I mean, E's technically a motion. Fuck, what? Shoot. Balls. What is a, what is a, what letter is not a Vim motion? Does anyone know a non-Vim motion? Capital P, no. Capital P is one. G, no. U, no. C, M, M. M, M is Mark. But I'm going to give it to you. Gosh, you guys couldn't even handle the fact that I did that much code and I didn't screw it all up. You can't handle that. You know you can't. You know you cannot. You are incapable of handling it. He did it. Who the fuck puts alt first? Okay, alt, control, delete. Who puts that? Well, uh, that's why you get paid the big bucks. Okay, are you ready for this one? We're, we're about to get. We're about to get disgusting. Are you ready for this? We're about to get disgusting. Are you Are you ready for this one? Uh oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm I'm gonna get just. I'm gonna get just disgusting. Just I'm gonna just. You, you, oh, you guys, you guys don't even know what you're about to just, I'm dipping the hot dog so deep into this one. Okay, the, the hot dog is getting fully dipped. Fully dipped hot dog right now. Fully. Fully dipped.
Okay? Fully. Should I do a string? I could do a string. I could do a string. The hot dog is drowning. All right. So we may need a fourth result. We kind of need a fourth result, which we have a fixed. What, what do I call this? Fixed motion? Fixed motion. We kind of need something else. Uh, no consume. Right? There's kind of like when you successfully pass something, you may not also consume it. Does that make sense? Does Vim have autocomplete? What do you think this is? 1995? What? Does Vim have autocomplete? The fuck is wrong with you? What? Vim is a modern editing experience with something called Tree Sitter. You wouldn't understand because you use VS Code, okay? VS Code doesn't even use Tree Sitter yet. VS Code uses regexes to highlight your code, okay? Can you can you catch up to the future? Okay. When was the last time you you just you you tossed in one of these? When was the last time you walked through the shape of your code? Okay. When was the last time you did this? You haven't, have you? The future is now, old man. Costco. Thank you, Forsaken. I love you. VS Code has a text mate or whatever. It's a text t text fun or whatever the stupid thing is. It's just a bunch of regexes highlighting stuff. We use tree view around here, okay? We tree view that son of a bitch. LSP features. Autocomplete's great. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could, I mean, I could do something here if I want, if I did, I do I want to use that? All right. Anyways, you're sitting on tree mate. Yeah. You're sitting on some stupid tree mate. Nice tree mate. VS code is cool because the guy that makes those language in a hundred second uses VS code. Yes, this is true. That's fair. His name's Fireship. first off. And second off, he's a very good guy. All right. Well, I need, I need, I need more music. I'm not loving this song. I, I don't feel like I'm in love lately. I'm just not in love. Welcome to Costco. I love you. I do like this song, though. Coming up here. Thank you, RTC Fangay. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Aiden. Appreciate that. Even a cat can master Vim in less than 30 minutes. Vim Tutor, best tutor you can get for free. <laughs> Just come in so hot. Came in so hot. Yeah, that's it. I'm kidding. Uh, you mentioned in one of your YouTube videos that you mentioned shift V O Y to copy one line and paste a new line. Why does this not work for me? Any suggestions? I don't know. So hot right now. She's gonna she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna fight me over that one. <laughs> All right. So check this out. This is uh, this is the idea. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? We're gonna have a number motion, okay? Check this one out. Are you you you're not even ready? You're not even sitting down. Sit down. Shut up. Okay. Motion. And what's gonna come out of here? We we kind of need some something else, right? We're gonna have a motion result. If uh, key match D, guess what? Numbers. Add that to the key. Done. False. Exactly. Now here's the deal. Oh, thank you for that hype train. Oh, thank you for that hype train, oh, daddy. Now, if, if self.numbers equals nothing, then guess what we're going to do? We're going to do the following. Are you ready for this? 
Now, this is where things get a little bit confusing. Uh, we're going to get a little bit confusing. I'll give it to me at all. Just give it to me, Ra! Who gave me five subs? Who gave me five subs? Hey, CK Puffin, thank you very much for the five subs. Let's go. Appreciate that. Appreciate. Appreciate. Thank you, baby. Uh. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Yes, I like this. I like this. Uh, let's go like this. Local uh, numbers. Oh, my goodness. Two number. What? Hey, wait, is two number a real thing? Well, damn it is. Two number is a real damn thing. I don't really like this. Oh, uh, I don't really like this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate my life. I just decided that I don't like it. I've just decided that I, I, I want to commit stop breathing with this. This is not good. This is making me very deeply unhappy. Okay, I'm deeply unhappy about what I've just written. Uh, do you use marks to jump to different spots too? I use harpoon. Okay, I'm not a loser. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. All right, this is really good, okay? This is really, really good. This is really, really good, and I'm gonna show you why. I don't, I, I think we might need reset. Now you're probably thinking, how is this any good at all? Okay, it is really good, okay? You just don't understand it yet, okay? You don't get it yet. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready? Are you, you're not even ready. Complex motion. Okay. Are you? I'll wait for it. Um, see what I did there? I use Harpoon 2. I use Harpoon 2. I've been using Harpoon 2 exclusively. Thank you, Fleero. Welcome to Costco. Fle Fleero. I love you. Appreciate that, Fleero. All right. And then we have... Uh, do you see what's happening there? Thank you, Fleero. I appreciate that. All right, complex motion is going to have a motion interface as my motions. It's your sub motions right there. Motion interface. And then, of course, of course, complex motion is a motion onto itself. Yes, it is. There we go. All right. Function test. Oh gosh, I am. I, we're gonna nail. We're gonna just destroy this. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys just ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right, hold on. I'm very excited about this. Okay. Does Vim autocomplete? I'm not even answering that question. I, let's see, I think I figured it out. Prime Gen is still on Pop OS and need the default monofod, which which is Fira Mono. Dude, why? Stop caring about my. Stop caring about my font. Okay, it's nothing. It's nothing impressive. It is literally the default. Okay, it's the default. Thank you. Is the golden kappa hype train? Uh, the yellow. The text is yellow. I don't honestly know what it is. Is this a I don't, golden kappa hype train? I don't think this is a golden the text kappa hype train. Is this one? Is this one? You guys better give a lot of subs if it's one then. I mean, you don't want to miss out on a girl to Kappa.
Yeah, this is a good capital, do you? Give me the meat and give it to me raw. I can't even tell if it's a golden gamma. I don't even know. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. All right, well, it's over. Golden Kappa trains have an emote shooting out of them. Oh, geez. Goblins are uh, supposed to be holding until the 27th. Goblins, hold. It turns on uh, your bad feelings. Thank you. I appreciate it. Feelings. Hey, stop it. Stop it's it. Hey, Zobri and Brino. Appreciate that. Let's go. All right, people. Complex motions. So now all we're going to do here is, is, is a complex motion is simply a, a several motions made up. Do you know what I mean? So... What it's going to do is it's going to take this motion and it's going to go like this. Result motion test key, right? While true, we're going to do this motion. If result uh, is nil, then we're going to just return nil, right? Everything, so everything should already be resetted by the time we walked up here. Welcome and then, you know what, I, I also need something like... Uh, Let's see. Out needs to be. It's gonna be like an any bag. I'm not really sure how to. I'm not sure really how to do this one yet. We'll get there. It's kind of like an any bag of things that needs to be done. Oh. There we go. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna get this. If it's nil, we return nil. We're done. If result dot uh, done, then we need to, we need to do something here, right? If if result, I hate that I called it a result. I I cannot believe I did that twice. I cannot believe I did that twice. Equals uh, no consume, right? If we have a a, a no consume one, then we can go self.index plus equals one. Hit him with that. Hit him with that continue. Ain't nothing like a. Ain't nothing like a. Ain't nothing like a go to. I can't believe I'm doing this. Dude, I am going to regret making these go to statements for Welcome fun. To I am going to. I'm going to regret you. this. I'm going to regret this. I can feel it. I can feel the fact that I'm going to hate my life doing this, but it's so much fun to do it that I think I'm being stupid. Uh, this is too much fun. Thank you very much, you Siren. I appreciate that. Thank you, Alessander. Appreciate that. Instant regret. I'm having some serious regrets. I'm having some regrets right now. All right. The syntax is pretty bad. The syntax is pretty bad. Okay. So we're going to grab the motion. We're going to grab this. The result will be that. If the result is done, then we're going to do this and we're going to go to the label. Else, we're going to... If... We're going to go like this. Self.index. Welcome to Costco. Plus I one. If self.index is greater, is greater than our current motion... There we go. If it's greater than that, then we have to reset the index. We're done. Uh, what's the thing called? It's called complex. And then we have to do this whole out business. Now, we haven't we haven't figured out the out business yet. Okay? We haven't figured out the out business, but something like self.out equals result result context. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do this one. In fact, we're going to go like this. All right. All right, I think this is pretty good. We may have to make this a lot more efficient. I'm afraid that we may have to... I may have to make this totally not cool. You know what I mean? Hey, thank you, I, Josh Jenkins. I may have to make this totally uncool. Right now, we're making this... What I feel is slightly cooler, but we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna insert the we're gonna insult insert the context into here. If it's a no consume, we'll we'll go to the next one. If it is here, 
Let's also go like this. Oh my goodness. My little print statements are going nuts. All right. If index is greater than submotions, then we reset ourselves and return out what we did. Else, we return nothing. Dang it, why do you do this? Why can't, why, why can I do this? Why don't you just let me do this? Just let me do this. Just let, just let me program very naughty. This is so effing, this is just so, this is such a disaster. This is such a disaster, by the way. This is just disgusting. Yes. Yes, I think I did this. I think I just wrote the, the the most disgusting code ever. I think I've done it. I have done it? I have done it? Go read a language spec. You'll learn the whole thing. Uh, this go-to hurts so much that I can't... Dude, it's so disgusting. Look at this. It doesn't even think it can get... Like, it's saying that this code doesn't even exist. Here, I'm going to close this down one second just to, just to clean myself off after that. All right. All right. If this works, by the way, I am going to... I'm going to just effing lose it okay there ain't no way that i just got that there's there's no way that i just got that correct first try like that there's just no way but you know i also just believe in myself because i am a champion okay i'm a champion i've never been afraid to be right and i am right here we go Wait, key's not a motion interface. Why not? Cannot match motion interface. Why not? Wait, key motion has what? Key motion has. I know, but why? What's the thing? I have test, which returns a motion result or nil. I have reset, which returns nothing. I am. I am. I don't even believe you. Damn it. This is very annoying. Okay, I don't know why it's breaking, but whatever. It's probably an actual bug. I'm just refusing to accept it. Okay, look at that. You're a pro. Don't pat yourself on the back. Dude, don't worry. I'm patting it so hard. All right, first off, did I break what's currently there? Okay, so maybe I broke what's, uh, what's currently there. Vim motion 135. Okay, just it's just a little bit of an oopsie daisy. Oh my goodness, it's not letting me do this. It's not letting me write this code. It's actually refusing for me to write this code. Okay, it still works. It still works. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go like this. All 
Marks are gonna be confusing. I do need to think about marks. Marks are gonna be confusing. I do need to, I do need to think about marks. I do need to think about marks. Um we'll just go like that for now. Just in case we want both of them. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Welcome to Costco. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, good. Good. This is what we want. We, we figured this would actually break. Good. Okay. I, I, that was a, that was a pur purposeful test. That was a test people. That was, that was a test. If you're wondering. Welcome to Costco. I love you. First try. We're still on first try. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Shut up. 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 Here we go. Local number equals this. Here we go. Here we go. I'll go number equals two number number. All right. How do we want to do this one? How do we want to do this one? Because I kind of got to figure this out. If number here, we go like this local uh, shoot number motion. Hold on. Number motion. Hold on. Is going to be. Dang it. Hold on, we're gonna get this. Just, just, shh, just shh, we got this. We got this. I think the last item in this list should be what we expect the keys to be. All right. I don't think this is right. This is not the output that I did. Right. The output should technically be something like this. Yeah. 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 There we go. All right, there we go. We got this. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's take away that. There we go. We're going to feed that key. Now that we got that, we go like this. Local uh, expected equals uh, V, pound V. Yes, yes. Type complex. I don't remember the shape. It's like, is it context? Is it is it context? Is it context? This is the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my lifetime. I genuinely thought I was going to get this first try. I used to respect you, but this code is one of the most disgusting uh, code in Lua I've ever seen. You're welcome. I honestly thought I was going to get this first try. I am genuinely upset at myself. I am genuinely upset at myself on this one. Thank you. My code is terrible. I've never been more more disappointed in my spell, myself ever. I mean, after after the, I tried so hard to use go to statements, and the fact that I did all of that work just to get nothing is truly is truly just devastating. Honestly, it's truly devastating. I actually thought I I, I thought I thought I did something better than that. 
I thought I did something better than that. Oh my goodness, what what if? What if? I have never been more disappointed in my lifetime. What if this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's make sure my numbers are correct. Where's my number? If I get a non... Oh, it's always done. Okay, so... Okay, okay, okay. So it should be done. Let's go to complex motions, and let's see if this works. Go-to statements aren't uh, standard in lieu of 5.1. It's part of lieu JIT. It's really gro gro gross to look at. I wonder if I can even use go-to statements. Can I even use go-to statements? That's probably a good question. I wonder if I could. Print results. Oh, by the way, kids, don't code like this, okay? If you want to be a Netflix engineer, don't do this, okay? All right, success. Result G, done false. Yes, okay, good. That's exactly what we wanted to say. see. Wait, what? It was done false, which means that if result equals nil, which it's not. Wait, what? Por qué, ma Por qué Maria? Okay, so we get that. If done's true, we do this. If done's false, we break, and we just return this, right? Why isn't that working? Yeah, done equals false. Result equals nil. Por qué, ma Por qué Maria? Welcome to Costco. I love you. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my goodness, people. Oh my goodness. You have to feed it two Gs. You have to feed it two Gs. Please tell me that that is actually what I did wrong. Please tell me that's what I did wrong. Please tell me that's what I did wrong. A type of fixed motion. It's not a fixed motion. It's a it's 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 complex. Complex motion, GG. Okay, so why am I failing? What am I failing on? What am I failing? Motion 23. Okay, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Are you, are you seeing this? Attempted to index local key, a number value. Oh, I'm an ignorant slut. I can't believe my biggest... I can't believe it was my test. I can't believe it was my test. It wasn't even the code. I just passed in one G. I passed in one effing G. Not two Gs, one G. I passed in one... I have to pass in two Gs. Just use tree sitter grammar to parse vin motions. Uh, you can tree sitter grammar these nuts. Okay. Wait, how did I just mess that up? Oh, crap. I deleted this thing. I deleted the statement. Uh, motion, uh, feed key. Key. Look at that, people. Can you believe that? Feature. I cannot believe it's not butter. I mean, can you believe that? First try. Every try. It was too good. It was too good. TDD. That's the opposite of TDD. But look at that. It's 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 actually semi. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel semi semi brilliant. Okay, semi brilliant with this. You know why? You want to know why? I should be able to theoretically do the following. Are you ready for the following? complex motion new in theory if i build up say watch this
theoretically, I should be able to do the following, right? I can now hit it with a J motion, right? And that's just going to keep on working. And it's going to produce the whole tree correctly. There we go. All I got to do now is build, build it. Chain that son of a bee. I'm leaving right now. Don't worry, baby. Love you. Can you believe that? How sweet is that? Okay, I gotta go. I got. I gotta go. I gotta go. We're gonna hit TJ up. We're gonna hit TJ up. Okay. Big thank you to Pirate Software for that massive girthy raid. Many appreciations. Let's pass on the love to TJ. Okay. Thanks for the new ringtone. Yeah, no problem. Do you guys like that? Tell me that's not a pretty clever little idea right there. Because now, as long as I've done everything correctly, I should be able to just keep on doing it over and over and over again. And it will just keep on working nicely. I'm happy about it. I'm happy about this. It's good enough. Yeah, it's off work. It's 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 holiday season. I can't read, but that's fun. Hey, Curse, are you there? JK looks good. I thought it, I thought it was pretty great. I liked what I built. Obviously, me building the old uh, continue thing, that was just me being the devil. Okay, I just wanted to do I just wanted to do that. I wanted to see is it possible. Right? Can you write super shitty code? And you can. It turns out you can totally write shitty code. But this is great. So that means all I have to do is just test every possibility. Right? I could create a singular test. And I could test every single possible motion that I need to test through here. And then it's just one test. That just generates it all. And I could each and I could have each one become its own it. So it's easy to kind of break down. Yeah. Yeah. 